Hey all, my name's Lance. Today we're talking through some environment setup stuff. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to talk about uh, something that's relevant only to the Apple users in the cohort, and that is the Bash shell versus the Zscript shell. Um, when Catalina was released, I'm working on Catalina here. In the summer of 2019, Apple made the decision to switch from uh, using Bash as the, the main shell to Z shell as the default shell. Why they made that change is not particularly important. You can certainly spend a little bit of time on Google and figure out why that was made if you'd like to. Um, but we're not going to dive into that here. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is depending on when you bought your computer, it might have Bash set as the default shell from when you bought it previously. Or if it's a newer computer, it might have come with Z shell set as the default shell. But there's a really easy way to figure out which one we're using, and that's to use the command echo and the path var uh, the variable shell uh, preceded by the dollar sign. And I can see here, right, that it's referencing the root directory, right, then my binary directory, which is a directory full of all of the binary commands, all the binary Unix commands, the actual executable binary code, um, and then I'm using the Z shell here, right? I can also see up here in the top of my screen that I'm using the Z shell. So I'm going to change to the bash shell just so I can show how someone would change from bash to Z shell, but we want to get everyone on to Z shell. Uh, just so we're all on the same page. Eventually, Apple is not going to support the Bash shell anymore. So you're going to have to make the change sooner or later. We might as well make it sooner. So to change a shell, the command is chsh. This isn't a command that you need to memorize. You're not going to use it very often. And then you're just going to want to put in the path of the shell that you want to use. It's in the same directory, and the name of that is Bash. Um, I'll hit enter. It's going to want a password from an administrator to make that change. Um, you see that nothing changed here. It didn't give me any confirmation, anything like that. What I actually need to do to see a change is I need to open a new window, right? I need to open a new terminal. And once I've done that, right, I can see that I had this customized prompt that I have set up in my Z shell. Uh, that prompt is no longer there, right? Now I have just this generic prompt that probably looks something similar to what you're used to looking at. And um, I also have this message like, hey, the default interactive shell is now Z shell. Um, you should actually update to that using this command. And that's the same command that we talked about. Um, chsh flag s, and then we're gonna go bin. And then lastly, we're gonna go Z shell. So I'll go ahead and execute this. It's gonna ask me for a password again. I'll go ahead and provide that password. Um, once again, I need to close this and open a new one. And once I've done that, I can see that I am back to my Z shell, right? My custom customizations on my shell, my colors, uh, my different prompt is back. Um, and I am back on the Z shell. So that's the first step to setting up our environment on the Mac. That's all we're going to cover in this video. Uh, Look forward to seeing you in the next video of the series.